introducing the NEO, the world's most powerful and reliable multi-rotor in its class. We have taken performance and design right to the edge. We have developed a platform with a unique design and lots of functional aspects to it. Let's have a closer look. What you probably first notice is that the motors are upside down and that the motors are separately on the boom. Uh, the main reason for this is that we wanted to build uh, and design a machine which is all weather capable and can be flown in any weather condition. As you can see here, this is the carbon fiber boom of the NEO. Uh, it supports the eight brushless motors mounted upside down. Um, the way of mounting them upside down protects the motors during environmental impacts uh, of a flight or landing or a takeoff. The strong fiber V-shape of the boom cancels out any vibrations uh, as the same technique as a tuning fork works. So it minimizes the high frequency vibrations which are in the end key for a clear image. We've positioned all the motors in a 5 to girl set, uh, which helps the drone keep stable during uh, air to ground movement um, because it's pushing the turbulence air away from the drone. Um, the benefit of using uh, a coaxial setup, which means that you place the left spinning prop and the right spinning prop uh, on top of each other, is that you're using um, the waste air of the counter rotating prop above, so which results in a more efficient airflow. Um, at the same time, it equals out the torque of each motor, which ends up in a perfectly balanced system. We've seen competitors uh, using a lot of uh, standard plates uh, and square or round booms, which having a lot of disadvantage. Um, for example, this. Uh, the thing is with round or square booms is that it's running a lot of the airflow underneath and around the frame. Um, then at the same time you mostly need a lot of uh, bolt connections to make the construction stiff enough which does weak the construction and it adds weight to the construction as well. And the other thing is that all the electronics are open and really sensitive for environmental impacts. Because of the flow optimized design we're having a better overall performance and endurance. Uh, at the same time, all the electronics are sealed inside the frame. We created uh, a little space around each motor in the boom, uh, which will result in a diastolic pressure. Uh, with this diastolic pressure, is that we're creating an active airflow throughout the entire frame. So when we place the boom on the centerpiece, it sucks up all the odd air from the critical components placed in the centerpiece, and it will push it out on the end of the frame. We've chosen an X8 frame configuration to increase the visibility when operating far away. The orientation will be lots easier compared to conventional octocopter systems where all the motors are placed in a circle. So then it's really hard to see which is the left, which is the right, which is the front of the aircraft. As far as we know, we're the only drone manufacturer company using 3D carbon fiber technology uh, where we combine the physical aspects of carbon fiber with the design in one product. Um, the use of carbon fiber is kind of art, I have to say, because you can really place strength in positions and corners of the parts where needed. There are not a lot of other materials giving this kind of freedom to work with. The result is an extremely stiff and strong part without adding unnecessary weight. For the NEO, we didn't want to compromise on the quality and the reliability of the electronics. After testing uh, several industrial brands and manufacturers, we found out that no one could offer uh, the components we were looking for. 
We contacted a, a German company called Contronic Suburb Drives because they had 25 years of experience with Brussels Drive technology. So right here you got like a $60,000 camera which is up in the air. So you really want to rely on your system. What makes it what makes the Neo so reliable is that we got eight motors instead of six or even four, which you, which you see a lot in the industry. Another reason why we're using eight motors is that there is more room of safety. So if if a motor failure happens or even two motor failures, you can still fly it up and you still can lift it up and you still can land it safely. Imagine you've got a $60,000 camera up in the air. You really want to rely on your system. You don't want to crash it or you don't want to have it coming down. Producing with drones these days has no room for technical failures unless it is a pilot error. 